if that one shots go, sir, we're, we're actually like so good. We gonna clap that Arthur as well. Yes, we did it! Oh my god, that was such a sick play! Ladies and gentlemen, now I've just finished building out some UR gear on the boy Captain Levi. So we've gone for a four attack and also two crit damage set here. On the ring, we've got all crit damage rolls. And on the bracelet, we got like a little bit of attack, man. We had a couple of good rolls there. And also a load of good crit damage rolls as well. So overall, this character has some really, really high base crit damage. So with this gear, it brings us crit damage to 220% really really nice and from what I know about gearing kind of crit damage characters again this is the first character I've probably like you are and geared uh, that's more focused on crit damage kind of you're looking for about an 11 to 12k attack sweet spot and then just as much crit damage as you can get on top of that I think 12k is like the ideal attack thing because you need like a balance of attack and crit damage in order to initially get the base uh, damage of the card up and then amplify it by loads with a crit damage multiplier. Uh, but again, I'm probably not the most knowledgeable person on that. Uh, so go pester Sekapoko. He probably knows a lot more about... Um uh, what is it? Gearing uh, Levi and crit damage characters than <laughs> I do. Uh, however, we've gone for a gold rush team today. So we're going to be using mono red here. And fingers crossed we can go straight into gold, man. That'd be perfect. Oh, dude, that is really, really good. Okay, so we're going to upgrade Arthur here. And then I think we want to get down. Do we want to get Gotha down first? Um, I guess we're not really that vulnerable to attack the Sable. So yeah, maybe here we go for Arthur instead, I think because we do have the gold buff, so attack disable is uh, a bit bit less of a, a scary factor there. Whereas Arthur's buffs are always a very scary factor. However, if we can get one more Levi Spike card... Oh, dude. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. Okay. Oh, mate. Do, do, we, do we see what a gold card can do with a gold buff? It also gets assault as well, right? I I think this I think this might be a simp bot, man. Judging by that play, so I think we use this match. We just do a little bit of testing, boys. A little bit of testing here, you know, just a friendly friendly bit of testing. We got guaranteed crit on the Arthur. Levi will always crit. One hundred seventy-three k. That that is that's some nice damage, man. That is uh that works. That definitely works. I can I can work without damage. A hundred percent. Wow, okay, cool. And next turn, um we have Ooh. Okay, I, I think we gotta go for this. So we're gonna upgrade the boy Arthur here. And then oh actually do I smack in I want to see if I can one-shot this Escanor, man. I, I think I think this probably gets Escanor down. Because also, Levi's ult is 3 out of 6, just as a bit of a heads up here. Maybe I'm too, being too greedy in this little test run. But we cancel Escanor's buffs for Levi's ult. And then, um, there we go, 134k. A little bit less than the gold uh, single target overall. But it's because it doesn't have spike damage. However, if I had him, he's 3-6. If I had him 6-6, six, six, man, it's just a very comfortable one-shot um, on Escanor there. So, very nice. Okay, I think next turn, let's uh, go for the, uh, the gold buff here. And then I think we are going to... Um, just nuke into Gotha, and let's just uh, let's just bang out one of these. See what the bronze does on Gotha. Again, usually Gotha has a lot of resistance to actually getting crit, but Levi, man, he just guarantees a crit. So yeah, 61k, not too bad, not too bad at all. Hmm. Okay. The good thing about like running Gotha as well is it's just very easy to um, upgrade the cards. It kind of seems like his burst damage is like is very comparable. Um, to Red Escanor in terms of his output in geared PvP. I think uh, I think we can just get the KO here, man. We should be good. If we uh, go for the bronze, that'll uh, clip go through off. Then a silver. Make a nice uh, big old dent in the boy king there. 100k. Yep, I'll take that 100k on the silver. It's pretty good, man. It's pretty good. Oh. 
I'm just trying to think. Uh, like, for another PvP video, or a bit more testing, um... Like, Levi and Red Escanor in the same team. Is it too much? Alright, so we just had a 20 IQ simp bot man, but hopefully we've got an actual player here. Fingers crossed that there are people playing in top 100. Uh, we got Kira. Let's go for the, the polite bow here. We don't have the, the best start, but I, th I think we want to go for this one. Um, let's attack the Sable, and then I think I'm just going to fire this off. Just in the hope that we can get um, a pretty good... Top deck merger, that'd be perfect. Okay, not bad. We, we can make this work. We can definitely make this work. Let's have a look at these plays. So we got Corrosion on Blue Dean Melee. Something on Lilia. Is that going to be a dab on Lilia? Heal on Lilia? Mm. <laughs> we'll, we'll see what plays come up, man. Dude, we got a crazy hand for Levi, though. Oh, gosh. Okay. Let's go for it, mate. Let's go for it. So we're going to upgrade on Arthur here. And we're going to go straight into the uh, the golden buff. I'm a bit worried eskinor has got a, um, a buff removal merger. And if he uses that on Levi, that's going to be a bad time. Oh, I like these cards, though, man. I like these cards a lot. Okay, I think we've we got to go for the Golden Cleave, straight into the Golden card. Even if this is a 20 IQ Simp Bot, man, this is this going to be satisfying as anything. Let's go for it. Come on. Let's get the Askinor down, please. Okay, very nice. Levi fully topped up there. 68k heal. Nice little uh, 176k crit. <laughs> Oh, mate. Dude, I'm so glad I made you our gear for this guy. Wow. This is like, this is impressing me, man. I am, uh, I didn't expect him to kind of reach this level of damage at UR gear. Because literally, he's on par with some of the, the best bursts you can get with uh, Big Daddy Escanor. Maybe a little bit lower overall. And I think Escanor does have higher value in certain uh, cards like the, you know, AoE draining as well. But I think there are some scenarios where Levi is going to be uh, a little bit nutty. But Levi as well doesn't rely on the buffs as much. So I think here, oh gosh, we're not going to be able to guarantee crit the Meliodas, right? Yeah, that's a bit unfortunate. I think we need to just go in for Lilia then. Hopefully, unless uh, King rears ahead, I maybe should have targeted Lilia first with uh, the slap. I think Lily is still the lowest uh, health percentage. So yeah, we should be all right there, man. Just about, but he's cleaning up uh, very, very nicely. It's all 60k cleave. We love to see it. Right. Oh, and then we got Levi's ult next turn as well. I think Arthur is 100% dead here. But if Arthur dies, we draw a lot of cards. So hopefully we can draw um, one more or two more Levi cards. Okay, I actually think that's uh, that's going to be it. Should do it. If we go for that, upgrade. So if, as long as this card kills Blue Demon Melee, we can get that king down as well. Should uh, should work out quite nicely. Oh no, dude, you're laughing. Bro, I need to go back into the Attack on Titan banner. I, I went in like yesterday after the summons video as well. Um, God, I, I went in like another like 600 and a bit gems, man. Got a couple more copies of Levi, Mikasa, and also Titan Aaron, but I need, I need three more of Levi right now. This man's, uh, he's go, going ham in PvP today. Not that there's been much uh, <laughs> of PvP so far, it's just kind of initial testing. But hopefully we can find, like, another player actually playing top 100, because uh, I'm very curious to see if we can have some good matches. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to skip all of the matches that are guaranteed bots um, and just search for players now. All right, so we've had to skip ahead two matches. We've had all bots so far. Is this another bot, or have we got a player on the line here? Let's uh, let's find out shortly, shall we? Okay, let's lock down the uh, the Lilia and go for a gold buff, man. Dude, I hope this is uh, a player. I really, really do. This is going to be such a good match.
Right, let's see what my opponent decides to go for here. Hopefully a uh, sick play. Oh, dude, we got such a good hand as well. Please be a person. They haven't instantly done their play, so I actually think it's quite a good chance it's a person. Yeah, going for go through as well. Sensible play, man. You know? Pretty reasonable there. Okay, that, that, dude, those are all the plays that a player would go for. Hmm. Oh, I should have, uh, should have nuked into the Escanor first there. I think we just go for this for now. I like it. It locks down like a lot of stuff for the next turn. <laughs> and by a lot of stuff, I mean absolutely everything. Wow. That really did take away. Uh, yeah. Oh my goodness, dude. That's ridiculous. That is the biggest Pog Champ play I've seen in my life. Oh, okay. He's going for the Escanor cards. He's got the, a debuff removal. Oh, no. Not debuff removal. Just an upgraded smash there. Oh, bro. Levi is cleaning up on this one, man. Right, so I, th I think we got to go for Gothazol, and then let's go for the silver, and then let's go for the gold, bro. I'm interested to see this, man. I'm very interested to see this. So we fire that off, and then the silver goes on Hauser, hopefully. Yes. Okay, nice little 100k extermination there, and we're going to follow it up. Another big number. Let's go 121k. The whole team's dead. The whole gang is on the floor. They've joined the floor gang, officially confirmed. Wow. Oh, that was that was some pretty disgusting luck overall, though, man. We had some crazy RNG in that fight. Damn, opponents forfeited the match. I, I don't blame the dude. I do not blame the dude. That that just felt like some mean bully in there, lads. I, I do apologize to that person. All right, so we just skipped ahead a couple of bot matches, but hopefully this is a player, man. He's going for mono red. Uh, so let's see if we do get anything back here. I think we ought to go for the attack disable go the first turn or else he's just gonna buff up um, An upgrade Escanor and one shot there and that's gonna be a terrible time um, But in terms of who we want to burst down, I think we want to go for maybe go through in this matchup Okay, nice well that that limits his plays a bit. Okay, really really good draw We definitely love to see that He's going to go for an upgrade on Arthur. Oh no, upgrade on Escanor. And then nuke in. So he's prepping for the next turn. Okay. That that Escanor is looking scary next turn. I think there's a very, very good chance that this lad is uh, indeed a player. So I think we are going to go for... We're going to go for the upgrade on Arthur. And then gold buff and then I think I'm just going to chuck the upgrade on Levi as well because I think there's a really good chance that um, he just instantly claps go the next turn um, but yeah I'm curious to see he might go for Levi Levi's like he's not a bad option to nuke into but go is also very close to his um, you know go and Arthur are pretty much at alt so they're much of a, a, a more immediate threat I think Okay, so Arthur is getting sent to the Shadow Realm. He's gone. Great merger on Levi, though. That's really, really good. Okay, Gotha gets drained. Hmm. But now, we're, we're about to show this man the power of uh, Levi, I think. So, I think we go for the, the gold here. It's, or is this too... How much else does Gotha have? Okay, most ambitious play of my life here. Let's see if we can pull it off. If that one shots go though, we're, we're actually like so good. We gonna clap that Arthur as well. Yes, we did it! Oh my god, that was such a sick play. <laughs> Oh mate, dude, I'm so happy with that one, man. That that was that was sick. Oh no, he's got Escanor's ultimate, bro, bro. No, why are you doing me like this, son? He's going for King. Oh, okay, he's going for King, because then that man can go relentless on Hauser. Oh, 
King's still hanging in there, boys. He's still hanging in there. So we got to go for Levi's, um, and then... Actually... Let's go for this, and then I think we go for this plague, just because then there's, like, nothing you can do after. I think this is the one to go for. Attack disabled man. He's got four. He's got all attack cards in hand with these two. So yeah, I think I think this is the one to go for. But oh my god, Levi, chill on the burst, dude. Chill on the burst. This 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 man has like he's got no chill. He's got no calm mode, mate. He's just going ham twenty four seven. Okay, hopefully that's gonna kill Hauser. Okay, nice. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oh, mate, Levi is crazy good, man. He is so, so crazy. I am, I'm so impressed, man. I'm just, wow. Okay, let's, uh, let's see if we can find uh, another player, man. That was a really, really good match there. Oh, my God. You thought Escanor killing one character was scary, bro? Levi just slaughtering that Gotha and Arthur in a single term? That was, uh, that was mad. That was, uh, so mad. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad I saw that play, though, because I, I was thinking about going for the gold on, uh, Ghost, uh, and I was like, oh, okay, realistically, I think it's going to be a bit too much overkill. So, yeah, the silver and gold combo just, uh, sorted out perfectly, but do we have Chris on the line here? I feel like I've fought Chris before. He's got, like, the perfect start for this turn, though. Oh, okay, that's that's not great. I don't like his hand, but um, we'll deal with it. I think we're gonna gonna chance this one a bit, and we're gonna start upgrading the Arthur here, and then I'm just gonna go for the attack disable, just because I don't want him to be able to rush uh, Escanor's ult. Maybe I should have upgraded the Levi. Oh no, actually, that was the right play, I believe. Hmm. I'm just trying to think about what I want to do for the follow-up here and what he's probably going to do. So we want to upgrade Arthur's gold card and I think we just smack in. Okay, he's going ham for Gotha. Makes sense because Gotha's, you know, very close to his ult. Corrosion. Um, completely wasted there, but he didn't really have anything he could do. But he also doesn't know that I have a uh, another upgrade in hand here. So let's upgrade the boy Arthur, go for this, and then um, I think we're just going to fire off this gold card for now. Like I like I like having Levi, because not too many people are used to uh, UR gear Levi in PvP, so just having him there. People are like, oh, that Levi, he's not really doing anything, but I know, I know Goth is a problem, I know Arthur's a problem. And then, bam, just, <laughs> it just completely destroys everybody. It's uh, the, the kind of action we're looking for here, man. Is Gotha going to get nuked down? I don't think he's going to get nuked down here. He's definitely getting drained, though. Okay. How much has Escanor got? So I'm just trying to figure out, like, what we need to kill Escanor. I think a silver card on Levi should be enough if we upgrade and go for that. And then let's nuke into, I think, the blue demon Melly. Or do we just recovery disable the Lelia? Um, I think we just nuke into blue demon Melly here. Oh, I was a bit too late on that one. Okay. Doesn't matter too much. Yeah, okay, that, it, it doesn't really matter here, in all fairness. Because there's, yeah, that recovery disable play was uh, a bit silly, man. I was a bit too slow on the decision making there. But the good news is now we should have plenty of burst for that Dean Melly next turn. Oh, dude, if we actually upgrade, I don't know, if we upgrade those, that Levi card to gold, I think it might be a bit too much overkill. We'll see. We'll inspect Blue Dean Meliodas and have a look at the health. Um, and kind of make our judgment based off that. Okay, so Lully is going for the dab there. Just trying to throw any damage to try and get that Gotha down. Oh, and now Lilia is at her ult. But we're going to drain it anyway, so it's all good. Yeah, I feel like if we do go for... 
for the gold one. It's just going to be so much overkill. So I think two of these actually should sort it. Don't know if I'm being a bit too uh, greedy there, but I, I think we go for it. We got guaranteed crits. We got the gold buff, silver cards. Should should be more than good, I reckon. Yeah, there we go. Plenty of damage, boys. Plenty of damage. Takes care of that man very nicely. Dude, those cleave cards were... They were legit. Wow. I'm, genu I'm genuine, genuinely, like, so impressed with Levi. <laughs> He's... Oh, man. This, this character, he didn't feel, like, bad to play on JP PvP. But also, um... Yeah, just didn't go, like, that in on him. But, my goodness. And geared, he is a whole other monster, lads. Can we just get the KO here? I don't know if we can. I don't think it matters too much, even if we do fail here. But I'm just going to see if we can get that king down. Yeah, I think it's going to be a little bit short without the um, the gold buff. If we had uh, a buff from Arthur, that would have been the perfect play there. So, gonna go for a Lily Adab. I think he's still dead next turn, in all fairness. If we could merge that into a gold, that would just be perfect for the finish. But, unfortunately not. So, we're gonna buff up Levi here. Uh, let's go for an upgrade. And let's uh, slap off one of these boys. Well, should be Lily Oh, no! I was too confident in that, man. I was too confident. Thought I've seen silver cards, they've been dealing 100k damage left and right, but attacking into disadvantage, I guess, uh, took the uh, the wind out of its sails a little bit. <sighs> Overall, man, I'm still I'm I'm still like just in shock at how uh, how beast mode Levi's been today. He's been really really sick. Well, let's go for one final cheeky little merger here, um, and there we go. So, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you did enjoy today's Levi geared pvp video with all of the ur gear pieces that matter on a character just very very impressive i uh yeah i'm, I'm a little bit stunned i think he's not quite escanor but he's probably one of the closest characters to like red escanor's burst potential in this game and i think there are some scenarios uh but where he can rear ahead a little bit but i think once people catch on to how devastating levi is he's also a lot more vulnerable to being focused down um uh, early on, uh, and maybe nukes before he gets a chance to do too much. So yeah, I'm not really too sure about his long-term viability in PvP, but I'll tell you what, I'm gonna have a fun couple of weeks with this man in PvP for sure. Like, I, I think there's a lot of combinations and teams that I definitely want to try him on, and I think he might actually fit, fit quite nicely into the, um, uh, the Blue Dean Meliodas Lilia uh, uh, Pierce team, because the thing is with Escanor, you know, ideally you want those uh, Amplify cards and Arthur uh, to buff up Escanor so you can get the most damage out of them, whereas Levi, he doesn't really need the buffs, although they do, like, really help him just achieve this crazy level of burst. So yeah, I think he might actually slot in quite well with Blue Dean Meliodas, but I need to do a little bit of testing, kind of figure out, uh, you know, exactly where is the best setup to use this character on. Uh, but very fun on a mono red team for sure but ladies and gentlemen if you did enjoy today's video please do smash that like button that'd be greatly appreciated aside from that thank you very much for watching take care and i hope that you have an absolutely fantastic day